In this video we're going to cover how to remove, how to uninstall the AVG Free Edition, the current version uh, as of the first part of February in the, the year 2010 is the free version 9.0. So we're going to cover how to remove the product. If it's still listed in the start menu you may be able to go directly to it, uh, uninstall AVG Free. Uh, we're going to be uninstalling it from a Windows XP machine. It's still being very very common uh, it, there's going to be a very similar uninstall process with Vista or Windows 7. Uh, go down to the Start Medallion, if you will, on Windows 7 or Vista, and up to Control Panel. On XP, you're looking for Add or Remove Programs. On Windows 7 or Vista, you're looking for Uninstall a Program. So once we've opened it, on Windows XP, it's going to give us pretty much everything at the same time. One of the nice things about uh, Windows 7 is that it will give you incrementally what it finds to uninstall. Click on the target and then remove. It's going to be a similar process as I said in Windows 7 or Vista and it's going to do a little analysis to see what it needs to remove from the system and uh, it'll gather that information and ask us what we want to do with it. So we're going to wait for it to gather. Um, so in this case we want to remove the user settings and in the and the objects that are in the virus vault. If you're not sure what those objects are, you need to stop this process, go back and open AVG and go to the virus vault. In this case this install has nothing that it's found and there's nothing in the virus vault. But if there was and it was something that potentially needed to be cleaned and, and put back, you need to double check. Um, if you don't know for sure, you might want to you might want to double check. So we're gonna hit yes. It's going to begin the process. Bring it back up here in the foreground. Looks like it's creating a backup on the desktop. That's the first time I've seen AVG do that with this fairly new version of AVG. So it's got a backup on the desktop that I'm going to have to get rid of. And it gives us the option to restart our computer. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, but I am going to click OK to restart the computer. Now I will tell you that one of the things that I do is I typically uncheck whatever program wants to restart my computer. Color me a purist, but I like to let Windows restart itself. I've actually seen starting way back with computers uh, programs try to restart Windows and have it just about lock up during the process. So I typically uncheck whatever wants to restart my computer, hit OK, and then I restart my computer myself. Uh, the program is now uninstalled and you can install the antivirus of your choice. Have a good day.